In the process of creating a direct purchase order for a service. Direct purchase enables a buyer to buy services of value up to rupees 25,000, which meet the requisite quality, specifications, and delivery period without comparison, except automobiles, through any of the available sellers on GEM. Open gem.gov.in and click on Login. Enter your user ID, the CAPTCHA text, and click on Submit. Enter your password and click on Submit to continue. Click on Market and from the drop-down menu, click on Services to check out the list of services available. You can select the service from all the services listed or you can search for the service by typing in the keywords here. Click here to check the service level agreement. Click here to raise a request for update in service. Click here to select consignee location and number of resources. Fill in the contract start date, contract end date and number of service days in a month. Fill in the delivery location, enter the number of cans needed per day and click OK to continue. You can view all the offerings from different service providers. Apply filters from here. The market will appear basis the filters applied by you. Choose the service offering and click on Add to Cart to proceed. Click here to proceed. Click here to preview the formula. You will see the formula displayed on your screen. Click on Direct Purchase to proceed. Click Confirm to continue. Mention the reason for choosing the seller. Buyer can select a billing cycle from here based on which payments will be released. Click here to proceed. Fill in your financial details and upload the financial approval. Click here to proceed. Confirm the start date for your contract. The end date will be auto-filled basis your contract duration. Then click here to continue. Click here to save and proceed. You may click here to modify the contract date. Select the relevant option to verify and create a contract. Click here to save and proceed. Contract has been successfully generated. In and click on login. Enter your user ID and CAPTCHA and click on submit. Buyer credentials. Click here to proceed. Click on market from the drop down menu. Click on services to check out the list of services available. You can search the service from all the services listed or you can search for the service by typing in the keywords here. Choose the service required from the selected service category. Click here to check the service level agreement. Click here to select consignee location and area to be serviced. Fill in the contract start date, contract end date and number of cleaning days during contract period. Fill in the delivery location and area to be serviced. Then click on OK to continue. You can view here the service providers offering different combination of services. Apply the filters from here. Apply the filters as needed. The market will appear basis the filters applied by you. The offer price will be displayed here. After selecting the services, click here to compare. You can check and compare all the specifications. After comparison, buyer can add the selected L1 product in the cart. Before proceeding further, buyer will be asked the intent of buying, direct purchase or bid RA. Note, if buyer chooses any other service than system recommended L1, bid RA would be mandatory. Click here to proceed with L1 purchase. Click on direct purchase to proceed. Click on confirm to continue. Buyer can select billing cycle from here, based on which payments will be released. Check the order summary here and click on continue to proceed. Confirm the start date for your contract. The end date will be auto-filled, basis your contract duration. Then click here to continue. Please read all the terms and conditions carefully. Click here to save and proceed. Click here to verify. Enter the OTP and click on verify to continue. Your order is placed successfully. Bid creation service. The e-bidding module of GEM is a tool provided to the buyers for organizing bidding from GEM service providers for a predefined requirement that is quantity, specifications, delivery period, etc. Service providers meeting the defined attributes then quote prices they are willing to be paid for the requested facility. At the end of the bid, the seller with the lowest price quote wins. For purchases above 5 lakhs, it is mandatory for the buyer to either publish a bid 
or an RA reverse auction for their requirement. However, they can choose to utilize online bidding and RA option even for procurements less than rupees 5 lakhs. Let's take a look at the bid creation process for procuring a service step by step. Open gen.gov.in and click on login. Buyer, secondary user, makes purchases on GEM. He or she will need to log in to their account to perform this task. Enter user ID, the captcha text and click submit. Enter your password and click here to proceed. Click on market and from the drop down menu, click on services to check out the list of services available. Search for the service by typing in the keywords here. Service category, manpower outsourcing services, minimum wage has been selected here. Please read through the service details and service level agreement document available here before you proceed. Enter the contract start date and end date. Please mention the number of working days in a month, tenure and details of minimum daily wage and other components as requested. For additional components like bonus, EPF admin charge and optional allowances, please enter zero as value if not applicable. The total price includes minimum wage, ESI, EPF, ELDI, insurance and other non-mandatory variables defined by the buyer in the bid document and administration charge and GST on the mentioned components. Service provider will thus quote over and above the above mentioned components as a service charge and special allowance if any. Click here to add your location and quantity. Under the tab Intent of Buying, click on Bid. Select the location and enter the number of resources. Then click here to continue. From the list of filters, select the skill category, the type of function, list of profile as required. Choose the specialization field and the educational qualification for the required personnel. The market will appear on the basis of the filters applied. Also, select if post-graduation is required, the field of specialization. Select the relevant experience required. You may click on customized value option to update your own value. The offer price will be displayed here. Select the relevant offering to proceed. Click here to proceed. Click here to create a bid. Click here to continue. Select on the service to fetch its specifications. All the specifications can be viewed and edited here. Click here to save and proceed. Click here to continue. Here you can view the consignee details and number of resources. Click here to continue. Click here to proceed. Select the bid duration. Bid life cycle is the period within which a buyer has to complete the entire process that is technical evaluation, financial evaluation and order creation of bid. By default, it is 90 days from the date of publication of the bid. Bid offer validity is the period during which the service provider's offer is valid from the bid end date. The buyer needs to award the order within the bid offer validity period. Bid to RA is not available if minimum price is set for the bid. Minimum wage criteria is defined here. Please select the response duration for clarifications from the sellers. Buyers can seek clarifications from the sellers during technical evaluation. Sellers would be required to submit their response within the declared time. Clarification can be sought multiple times. Bid estimated value is the approximation of the total cost for project completion. For price on demand services, it is mandatory for the buyer to provide the estimated value for EMD and eligibility criteria consideration. You can edit the bid estimated value from here. The new value entered will override the existing bid estimated value and will be considered for the EMD and eligibility criteria. Choose yes 
if you want to display the bid estimated value in the bid document. Please select the total contract duration. Select yes option to set minimum price for the bid. Mention the per unit minimum price here. Click here to save and proceed. You can edit the set minimum price from here. Click here to view the estimated minimum price. Estimation of minimum price sample. Click here to save and proceed. Specify the eligibility criterion if required. Select yes to enable seller to upload a PDF as part of the financial document. Seller to upload prices of spares or consumables as PDF. Refer to the tooltip for more details. Applicable for specific categories only. The job description and scope of work document needs to be uploaded here. Also, you may choose to request for additional data or documents from the listed options. For information, hover over the I icon next to the title. Please upload the list of resources along with quantity for each type to be continued by the successful bidder under the new contract, if any. Also upload Gazette notification for the breakup of ESI, EPF, ELDI, etc. if required. Buyer to upload undertaking that minimum wages indicated by him are as per applicable Minimum Wages Act. As per GFR 2017, QCBS as method of evaluation should be used for procuring consulting services. However, as per the recent OM number, F112021 PPD dated 29th October 2021 issued by Department of Expenditure, Ministry of Finance, QCBS can also be used for procuring non-consulting services where the estimated value of procurement does not exceed Rs 10 crores or where the procurement has been declared to be a quality-oriented procurement QOP, by the competent authority. Read the advisory. Choose Yes for QCBS evaluation. If required, click on No More for details. Define technical qualification parameters, their weightage, set cutoff of each parameter if required. Also, upload qualification scoring methodology document and choose if seller needs to upload supporting document. In addition, Please define the total minimum passing marks required. The technical, financial weightage and select if interview interaction and presentation be required as part of the selection process. Click on add new to define additional technical parameters. Choose yes for LCS evaluation if required. Click on no more for details. Define quality parameters, their weightage. Set cutoff for each parameter if required. Also, upload qualification scoring methodology document and choose if seller needs to upload supporting document. In addition, please define the total minimum passing marks required in technical evaluation for seller to be eligible for financial evaluation. Click on Add New to define additional technical parameters. Select Yes to opt for pre-bid interaction and provide venue details and timings. Click here to continue. You can choose to request for EMD and EPBG for order value greater than 5 lakhs, though not mandatory. Select No if not required. Click here to save and proceed. If EMD is required, select Yes and fill in the details. If EPBG is required, select Yes and fill in the details. Select No if not required. Click here to continue. Select Yes to give purchase preference to MSE. In case of price match, the order will be given to an MSE. Please upload competent authority approval for exemption of MSE compliance. Also. Enter the details of the competent authority below as requested. You can select additional terms and conditions from the listed ones as per your requirement.
Click here to add your own bid specific ATC with approval from your competent authority. Select if you wish to update the text based ATC clauses or upload ATC document and click on add. Click here to update the clause. Click here to agree to the terms and conditions. You can download the bid document from here. Select the relevant option to verify and publish the bid. You can view your published bids under the Published Bids tab. Here is a sample bid document. Many times, the buyers have requirements to define bids for categories which are not part of the gem category set. Creating a gem category definition may take time due to the due diligence and process involved for defining the gem category. Therefore, this new functionality has been introduced for buyers for creating custom based bid for services not available on gem. Buyers can define the custom bid based on their needs even when the service category does not exist on gem. The sellers would participate in the bid based on the requirements defined by the buyer. The procurement of specialized services that are currently not available on gem procurement of additional or side products that the buyer wants to procure but are not available on gem procurement of any one-time service or bunch of services such as site survey one-time audit service one-time training etc creation of custom bid below rupees 5 lakh value is prohibited also selection of at least one related category is now mandatory for publishing custom Bids. The buyer would be asked to take an undertaking that the procurement of required item is not feasible from the items or catalogs available on GEM. For custom bid services, the minimum bid duration is 10 days and maximum is 45 days. All such custom definitions may be considered for defining new categories on GEM later. Open GEM.gov.in and click on Login. Buyer, Secondary User makes purchases on gem he or she will need to log into their account to perform this task enter user id the captcha text and click submit enter your password and click here to proceed generate a gar for unavailable service then click on market and choose services from the drop down type custom in the search box and select custom bid for services from the recommended options click here to read service details document you can read the service detail here click here to view the purpose and guidelines for defining the service level agreement sla guidelines can be read here update contract start date and end date minimum contract duration is one month select intent of buying bid and click on select consignees to update delivery location and to choose your consignee quantity to be chosen has to be one in all circumstances actual quantity to be updated as part of specifications choose up to five similar service categories available on gem this information will be used for sending direct notification to the service providers for participating in the custom bid mention the name for service here this will be published as title of the custom bid. Select yes if compliance to the mentioned is required. For more details, hover over the question mark icon. Choose any offer and click add to cart to proceed. Click proceed to check out. Click here to proceed. Read the notification and select confirm to proceed. Click on the service to view its specifications. Click here to proceed. Review and make changes if required. Click on save to proceed. Click here to continue. Click on the service to fill in consignee details. Review and then click here to continue. Click here to continue. Click here to continue. Update estimated service value here and click on save and proceed. Click here to update bid estimated value. It is mandatory to submit a value here. Choose the contract term and select the eligibility criteria if required. Select yes option to set minimum price for the bid. Select yes to enable seller to upload a PDF as part of the financial document. Seller to upload prices of spares or consumables as PDF. Refer to the tooltip 
For more details, applicable for specific categories only. Upload additional data and documents as requested. To know what is to be uploaded, please hover over the I icon for details. Fields marked with an asterisk mark needs to be updated mandatorily. Scope of work, service level agreement, payment terms and gem availability report. Document to be uploaded has to be in PDF format and maximum file size of 10 MB allowed. Upload additional data and documents as needed. Choose Yes if QCBS evaluation or LCS evaluation if required. Click on No More for details. Select Yes to opt for pre-bid interaction and provide venue details and timings. Click here to proceed. Buyer can ask EMD and EPBG details, which is allowed only if bid value is greater than 5 lakhs, though not mandatory. Select Yes to give purchase preference to MSE. In case of price match, the order will be given to an MSE. Please upload competent authority approval for exemption from MSE compliance. Also, enter the details of the competent authority below as requested. Select additional terms and conditions as per requirement. Select the clauses and click on add to continue select the clauses and click on add to continue read the terms and conditions carefully and click on the checkbox click here to verify and publish the catalog